Hi, this is Jeffrey Reddick, creator of Final Destination. Greetings, Slashaholics. This is David Bergantino, author of the Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror books, the Bard's Blood Horror Shakespeare books. Hey guys, this is Jason Brooks, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Vengeance. Hey, this is Slasher Pepper. Hey everybody, it's CJ Graham, Jason, Friday the 13th Part 6. This is William Patterson, known to Friday the 13th fans as Eric Morris. Hi, this is Deborah Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 5. Hey folks, this is Adam Marcus, director of Jason Goes to Hell and Secret Santa. <laughs> Hello, kitties. This is John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. Hi, this is Kane Hodder. Better known as Jason from Friday the 13th, Victor Crowley from Hatchet. And you're listening. You're listening. And you're listening. And you're listening. I just want to make sure you guys know you're listening. You are listening. And you are listening. And you are lucky enough to be listening. Okay, boils and ghouls. You are listening. You are listening to the 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. The 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. To 80s Slasher Librarian. To 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. To the 80s Slasher Librarian. Keep listening, or I'll kill you. So you decided to be dishonest in the sake of stalling, and make up a lie. Here's what happened. There was a developer out there this morning, you lie. He's willing to pay big bucks for that piece of land. He's talking about putting in a lodge and ski lifts, and a big dining hall, and a, and a swimming pool, and a... Hotel, says the attorney. Yes, you reply. Satellite TV, says Mr. Fox. Yes! And a sushi bar? Yes! No, wait a minute. You look at their faces. You're making fun of me, you say. Even Harry is laughing at you. Nostra, Harry says, signing the paper the lawyer puts in front of him. I wish it were true, but none of that could happen without roads and water and sewers and electricity. And I don't think the township's ready to go to that expense. Mr. Fox is going to use it as a wilderness camp. You know, a, uh... A getaway. But apparently Mr. Fox likes your idea better. After he buys the land, he talks the township into putting in electricity and water and sewers. The province puts in a road, and Mr. Fox sells the piece of land for ten times what he paid Harry. Within five years, Harry's scruffy orchard is a thriving winter resort, with ski runs, a lodge, and a swimming pool. The new owner becomes a millionaire. Harry sells the rest of the farm to the new owner for a fabulous amount and moves to the coast. Years later, you become an advisor to major corporations specializing in real estate. With a little luck and a lot of creativity, you have an amazing success rate in predicting future trends. The End Well, can't really say that your dishonesty led to a horrible ending. Sounds like you made out pretty successful. But hey, out of curiosity, you want to give up all those big bucks and, uh, Go back and see what would have happened if you told the truth. Or perhaps you want to take more than one step backwards and uh, see what would have happened if you had followed the train instead of following Belinda on that fateful night. The choice is yours. The path awaits.